I'm back, guys. Oh, you got the feeling that I know is real, real, real. It's in the way you look, it's in the way you love. And I can see that this is real, is real. It's in the way you talk, it's in the way you touch. And I And did I miss out on much? Well, I don't think you so. You wasn't here, so yeah, you did. Well, we lost 3 1. Well, I promise we this and you didn't think there was any luck. Yeah, but anyways, today's a special vlog. We're playing Oxford United, and as you all know, we're part of Wilson and Thornton Bantons. So we are big match sponsors today. And I'm looking forward to it, sir. Yeah, we're playing Oxford United. We haven't been playing that well at home mm. all the way for the past two games. Uh, we are just smart today because oh yeah because we are part of the committee and we're having a you got a bit, it's got to be done on it yeah VIP uh, plus we're going on the pitch today that's why we got to look smart so stay tuned okay. right guys so we're here with Gary Jones we've just bumped into him the legend and what's your name Daisy Daisy and Frankie Frankie what score do you think it's gonna be today. Uh, 3-0 Bradford. What about you? 1-0 Bradford. Oh. Gary, what are you saying? I'm saying 4-1 Bradford. 4-1. Come on, sir. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year's as well. Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's too, too. <laughs> Right, so we're here with our lad, Billy Bantam. Uh, what's going on? This is going to be today, with your fingers. Right, two. that's a 2. 2-0. Two 2-0 two nil. Two nil City. Come on. Right. right, Joe. What's quality thing is going to be today? 3 0, mate. What about you, Zeeshan? To Oxford. I mean, uh, no, Bradford. You what? You what? Bradford, Bradford. Oh, he said Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday boy. What's quality thing is going to be today? 3 1. 3 1. What about you, Chris? I'm going to go for 1 0. 1 0? Yeah. To sit Who do you think is going to score? I'm going to go for Kilgallen. Kilgallen? Luke's man at match going to be today? Uh, Charlie White. Charlie White. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday December. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so guys, normally I never try anything new, but I'm going to try this. I don't know what it is. It looks like margarine or something. <laughs> margarine. Been around 84 games with Bradford City, but what a spell. You were captain of the team, you played Arsenal, you played Aston Villa, two games at Wembley, one of which won us promotion, and with some great players. Yeah, there were some great players, you know, um, but I think I, as a team, we were, you know, I think I've said this before, that we, we were, we had Nacky Wells, who was, you know, he was a bit of a star, obviously, <laughs> because the way he's gone on to achieve, but I think we were just a group of lads that, you know, we rolled our sleeves up and give everything we have, give, give 100% for each other, you know, we were well drilled by the manager, Phil, and, you know, when you're well drilled and you've got good work ethic, I think you can, uh, you can create a lot of, lot of good things. You've told us what you're doing now, but in all you've played 632 matches in the Football League. I think that deserves an hour. Thank you. You've been fascinating, haven't you? Gary Jones. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, on the pitch, and I'm delighted that Eddie and his family are sat in the corner there. Eddie and Stefan have. Uh, I've now been in their roles for 18 months and I think, you know, they're doing a great job. They're doing some really fantastic things off the pitch that a lot of fans have asked me on Twitter this week what we're up to behind the scenes. So I've joined Twitter for my sins. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but the Bantam vloggers and the Wills and Bantam should probably tell me if I'm doing an okay job so far. But my programme notes today are all about that question progress. Losing two matches doesn't mean that we're not achieving our aims on the pitch and off the pitch. And a win today will probably put us straight back onto where we'd hope to be. But we've got a new club shop. Hopefully we're going to take that back in the next six months. We've got a new ticketing system that's going to be coming in the next 12 months as well. So there's loads of reasons to be cheerful around the place. We've got a really thriving academy set up. 
every player that's training in our academy now, and I can, I can see some young kids dotted about the place now, will be trained in the same way that the first team are trained. So we've got a real synergy going through the club now, and that's something that Eddin and Stefan brought when they joined. We want to be, we want to be a, we want to be a progressive club on and off the pitch. We want to invest in youth and invest in talent. Uh, we've just, in, 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 in fact, employed two or three key members of staff behind the scenes. So we really are in safe hands, and I think Eddin and Stefan deserve a lot of credit for that. Jim McCartan really excites me. Um, 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 Gary said uh, the, pl the, the players have got to inspire the fans, but the fans have got to inspire the players from the, from the start. And I saw Shane McCartan at South End a few weeks ago, and he came on for 15 minutes. And I just kind of couldn't help after the game but just hug him and say, well done Shane, you just get, it's just around the corner before you get that start. And I won't be surprised if he plays a really important role today, but it does start with the fans before the kickoff. It's up to us to get the, uh, the atmosphere going, and I know there's a big thing on whether we should have goal music or not today, me and Ed in a back and forth about that but it's up to the fans to tell us how they want the uh, the match the experience to run you know if you want if you want to uh, the players to inspire you you start by inspiring them and it can start in here by having a good time having a drink and getting out there and we thank you all for coming the Wolves and Bantam we've got some new sponsors we've got some old sponsors thank you to right guys so we are going onto the pitch now and we are kind of lost oh. Steph, you're going the wrong way that's the fire exit yep yeah, they have gone that way uh, we're running a bit late because we stopped to take a picture with someone. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where Seth's going. Do you, do you know Seth? Anywhere? No, I don't know where they're going. Right, um, we are kind of lost. Right, it might be this one, Seth. I'm not quite sure. Right, um, we went... What? I don't know where they are. Right, we are kind of lost. Chris, we've lost you. We don't know where you are because we stopped uh, to take a picture. Uh, yeah, um, we've kind of lost Chris and the rest of them. We're supposed to be going onto the pitch. What did Chris say? He said uh, he's coming to uh, get us. Oops, sorry, Chris, if you're watching this. <laughs> Oh god. Where do we stay? I think we should go back to the. No. Seth, Seth, why are you stressing? Why are you stressing? Well, we lost him. We're gonna go on the pitch. Younger. Yeah, why are you stressing? It don't matter. Even if we don't go on the pitch, we are going on the pitch. Where's Chris? I think we should go back to the room. He might be there. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm recording because we're in a tricky situation. What? Oh god. Oh, just stop recording now. <laughs> Seth is dressing. So, guys, so we found our way back. Thankfully, to the lady over here. Straight down to the bathroom. Alright, let's go. Seth was dressing. Because we're lost, we're lost. So we're lost, Jim. It's not my fault. <laughs> in about 10 minutes, kickoffs in about 15 minutes. Quite cold in it? Yeah, it's absolutely freezing. Well, at least it's not raining. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> Sally, how are you doing? Am I right, Dad? Score predictions. I'm going to go for 2-1 one Bradford. That's a good score, that. It's Denver's birthday. How do you feel going on the pitch today? Yeah, it's fun. Will it? Yeah. Is it the best birthday present ever? 
And it's thanks to dad over here. <laughs> Them as dad, Chris. How you doing? <laughs> you yeah, right. uh, And with Liam, what score do you think it's going to be today? I think we're going to get back to winning ways. I think it's going to be 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Who, who do you think it's going to score? I think Charlie White Oliver. And what do you do again? Uh, match the announcer. Match the announcer. Uh, So we're on the pitch now. As you can see. I can't believe I'm on the pitch. I can't believe I'm on the pitch. Right, so we're on the pitch. Sorry, don't slip. Make sure you don't slip. Wow, this is sick! Loving it. And now, and now we're going to go through the main entrance. Seth's running because he thinks we're late. Oh, we've already scored! We've scored! Oh, man, we missed it! What the hell? We missed it! Guys, we just scored! And we haven't even gone to our seats. We got to there! I don't even know what's going on, but we've just scored. We're all on the same. Wow, we've just scored and we missed it. Charlie White! Go on, lad! Charlie White scored, sir. Charlie White scored? Yeah. Charlie White. Wow, we've missed it, Denver. Right, guys, so we just got into our seats and um, Rock City are winning 1 0. We just missed basically. Basically, you just missed the first goal. Yeah, we missed Charlie White's goal, but um, I think there's plenty more to come. Goal, lad! Oh, yeah. Yeah, we missed that goal. We was getting to our seats. What do you think the final score is going to be? Uh, I think it's going to be three. Three. Who's your man of match? Charlie White so far. I think it's going to be two one. Charlie White. Charlie White. All right, nice one. Enjoy the rest of the game. Right, so we're here with Frank. Frank, what's going on? You all right? Enjoying the game so far. What do you make of it? 
yeah, we were good in the first half. We were very lively in the first 10 minutes. We did finish our chances in the first half, so we can be better. Yeah. What do you think final score is going to be? 3 0. I think Paul Taylor is going to score 1 0. Yeah. Paul Taylor playing really well at the moment. Happy All right. New Year. Happy New Year to you. Go. Go. Oh, <laughs> so second half just started and um, 48 minutes hopefully we can hold on to this lead and we can score another one or two and that will secure the three points let's see what happens a minute after Zishan just said that we've just conceded Z, it's one you're, all. you're the curse. I don't know. You're like my brothers. <laughs> I'm not cursed. I spoke the truth. Well, no, I didn't. But I don't know. Anything can happen. Come on, we can get back into this now. Can we? Right, so McCartan has just made it 2-1. Great goal. I'm so Great proud. Shot. Bottom corner. For, for McCartan, I'm proud for him because it, it'll do a lot, it'll do a lot for his confidence as well. Get it! There's only about a minute left now. Oxford um, got a free kick. Come on, full time whistle blow. We need that full time whistle to blow. We should have been cruising away with this. But, see, you do it the hard way. Charlie White, red card, I can't believe it. The main thing is, after the last couple of results, this was a vitally important result for us because we're back on track. Yeah, it was. Um, a lot of us we just went to get back to winning ways, and obviously the last two games didn't go our way. And obviously to finish today with a win was just fantastic. Now I know you can't really comment on it, but there's no pressing here. That sending off sounded a bit, it looked a bit harsh. No, nobody expected the red card. No, to be fair, I was standing right in front of it and it was very harsh. So like, you won the ball for me. Yeah, I was just shocked that he gave me the card. So, I mean, I'm facing the camera, so what would expect? We might appeal against that? Oh, I'm not too sure to be fair. <laughs> I knew you would be. Oh, sorry, mate, I'm just pretty on the spot there. I knew you would be. Chairman's listening, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Anyway, it was been fantastic. We've got one or two presentations to do for you, if you would, please. Are we doing Man of the Match yeah, first? Let's do Man of the Match. Who's coming up to present that? Oh, there we go. Look. He's the one responsible, you see? There you go. Come on, let's have a big round of applause. Right guys, so we're ending the vlog here. We're with Tyrell Robinson, Man of Match. We played amazing today. And keep up the good work. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to see you soon. Cheers, lads. All right, see you later.